Legend of Total War here with part 38 of the Rome Total War Let's Play campaign. Okay, so in the last episode, I've uh, basically been just been continuing my raiding of of German settlements. I've racked up nearly nine, uh, sorry, over 9,000 kills on the battlefield. Um, I exterminated Mogontiacum and uh, I let it become a rebel city. I've occupied Dame and uh, I expect it to revolt. And same with Vicus Mac oh I'm not gonna Vicus Maco oh, Marco Manii. Oh jeez, that's a tough one. Anyway, and I'm gonna let that become rebel. I disbanded the army after I lost the general in that battle. Um, stupidly, so I didn't I, I wanna have more standardized armies from now on, so no more mercenaries. I don't need them anymore because as you can see, I've built up quite an empire now, so there's really no need for me to be relying so much on mercenaries because I can get a uh, legionary cohort. Um, some information was brought to my attention uh, which I double checked um, and found that Mogontiacum was in fact part of the Roman Empire during the reign of uh, Emperor Trajan. So I am actually going to go back and conquer it. So thank you Caspthor for bringing that to my attention. It allows me to basically Expand, uh, expand it. I didn't realize this area here was actually part of the Roman Empire. Um, I thought maybe a part of it was. I didn't realize that, that the actual city itself was conquered by the Roman Empire. Uh, Dame and um, this one here, I'm not going to bother branching it again, wasn't part of it at its, at its greatest extent or even part of its raid. You know, it never owned it, so I'm not going to hold them. I'm only going to continue killing the Germans until I've reached 10,000 kills and then um, and then I'll move on to the next challenge okay so I will once these guys have finished raiding and I've got about 750 more kills I'll come back and I'll take Mogontiacum and this time I'll keep it um, I kind of regret exterminating it now kind of counterintuitive in hindsight um, I think I took on a rebel set uh, rebel uh, army there last turn taken all of Spain now and I'm in the process of disbanding these armies here uh, as soon as I basically don't need them anymore uh, they're just there for uh, uh, garrison to keep the public order at the moment um, oh yeah I've got these guys here to take uh, Ch uh, Cherisonisos uh, in the Bosphorus which was part of the Roman Empire very briefly and I'm not going down to fight Byzantium. Oh, that's right, I did say I would sally out. I remember that. So I'll do that now. Now my plan is basically to wipe out the Phalanx Pikemen and Falksmen. Mostly so that when they get up on the walls, my auxilia will be able to defeat them when they do assault. Oh wait, no, wait, no. I was going to wait until they built um, siege equipment first. Now I, I remember that now. So I won't do that now because I need they need points to do that. Because I'll never be able to to beat this guy one on one. Uh, I doubt I really. Um, maybe let's have a look. No, I don't know. Um, so I'm not even going to try it. It's better that he assaults, can't get up on the walls, retreats, and I can continue to build troops. I mean, I could send reinforcements. Nah, I'll figure this out myself. Make it a bit more interesting. And apart from that, I'm in the process of beginning a turtle. As in, I'm not going to expand much now. Uh, I'm just going to wait for the Brutii and Scipii to get really powerful, and then I'll start the Roman Civil War. Uh, unless they start it first. That would actually be okay, I think. Um... And then I'll take Rome for myself and become emperor. Okay, what else? I'm pretty sure this is at the end of the turn. I don't have much left to do. Oh, well, I think I'll send this guy to assist, actually. Forward. Out of move, sir. Build a watchtower there. Build tower. Order. These guys are going to Aretium to join up with the second legion. These guys are going to the First Legion for when they return. Actually, no, they can go to Mogontiacum and be ready for that battle. They'll be, a be able to help out there. Okay. 
I've managed to gain a bit of extra wealth because of the disbanding of my armies. I don't have as many armies as I used to, so I don't have as many troops, so obviously I've got more money to spend now. So I'm just going to do some fucking construction, uh, constructing here. Just, uh, let's see. Got to build up those um, cities, make them huge cities and whatnot, so that they can produce lots of money and legionary cohort for me. And they're also good spots to send my legions back for retraining once once I take some casualties. And I also need lots of cash. Oh, that's right, I was going to build that up for them. I don't know why I bothered with that. Okay, so I've constructed everything now. Just thinking what else I need to do. Get this settlement producing peasants so that I can go to Numantia. But I'll actually send the majority of these troops yep, I'll send the majority, majority of these guys into Numantia to begin the uh, uh, you know as settlers to help quickly build this up because I'm not constructing anything here so I'm wasting time And Oscar needs it, needs it as well. No, oh, forget it. They can come from nearby regions, the the Gaulish ones that need uh, expanding. Need to build them up as well. I also need to build lots of forts everywhere to sort of stem the the increase of uh, those fucking bloody stupid rebels that show up all the time. I think I'm at the end of the turn. General. Oh, I was training a lot of peasants here. I might send them to Mogontiakum later on. Anyway, and that... Tavium is uh, not looking too public order worthy, and it just received, uh, got to the point where it could be a huge city. I should really be training it up for legionary cohort instead of this, um, but then again I do need the money. I'll put that in the queue, and then train peasants, and I'll put them... I don't know, somewhere, send them somewhere, like maybe a Quincum. Yeah, that, that looks like a place that needs it. Orders. Okay, that's not really worth fighting, that guy. And 
that's too small. I need to find somewhere that's got 750 men to kill. This guy doesn't count either. Oh, that's right, I forgot about these guys. I could essentially use these three to probably kill him. These two, now. That might not be such a bad idea. Engage the enemy. Yeah, so I'm going to add my kill count by 71. Provided I win, that is. I can't imagine losing this one. It's, you know, my general is really good and experienced as well. So the foe has come then. I feel sorry. Let's just get on with this. Just horse sandwich his fucking ass. Oops. He's coming after me, is he? Alright, ready? Poor sandwich, motherfucker! Oh, fucking screwed it up. My Roman cavalry are taking the brunt of the attack. But, looks like I've got this under control. There we go, fighting to the death. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time the yep. enemy and now I'll add 71 extra to my kill, so what does that bring it to? Just uh, doing the maths on my piece of paper here. Okay. So. 9,320. That's what I'm up to. So I need 680 more kills. Victory, Imperator! March, move depleted, sir. I will actually hire these barbarian mercenaries, though. I know I said I wouldn't hire any more mercenaries, but I kind of want to finish raiding, and I don't have a whole lot of time. Or enemies left to kill. There's not much around. Imperial. There should be a city around here that I might try and raid. Engage the enemy. Victory! I don't really want to fight this guy because, I mean, it's, it's a it's a faction leader. He's gonna he's gonna rape my men. Engage oh well. The enemy. Extra 92 might as well. Germans await us. I think we will Hopefully my Pele can do a bit of damage before before the enemy general decides to charge or whatever. Enemy faction leader actually, so I'm gonna kill the German king. Also try boxing him in. That might be a good idea. So I'll, I'll just wait with that. A little trick I learnt in the peasant campaign, which I should apply. Don't know if it works in in Rome Total War quite as well though. Oh, well, it's worth a shot.
bit elaborate this is, but let's see how effective it is once all my men use their Pele on the general at the same time. I think it'll be pretty fucking effective. Gotta make sure I don't touch him though, it'll ruin everything. He's an idiot for just standing there though. Alright, let's see how much rapage this will do. Take that, you fuck! Virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. Oh shit! I'm gonna take friendly fire. Oh, you little shit! Well, this I did not expect to happen. The fuck is gonna get away? Holy shit! Got through the little gap of mine. I'm actually impressed with that. <laughs> you little shit. Two remaining, huh? Oh well. That brings my total to 100, uh, sorry, 9,410 killed. Well, that, f well, whatever. At least I know that that technique works. I didn't really, I lost maybe one man. One or two men. Oh, fuck. Alright, next turn I'll go in and, oh, I'm not going to be able to just go in and attack, but I'll raid Vicus Gothi. And, uh, then that should bring me straight to 10,000. Okay, so they've built the siege equipment there. That's what I was waiting on. Oh, and we've got this battle here. I'll do this one first, because... Horse archers. Haven't, haven't versed any of them. Well, oh, I could... Oh, I love horse archers. Um, I could hire them, but... It's not really part of the plan, so I'm not going to. And it's not like I'm enemy. up against anything particularly difficult here. Essentially, my general, my three generals, could be able to take them all on by themselves. Nice small wall there as well. Always helps. For the archers, that is. For those peasants. Damaged already. Someone's already come and attacked this place and failed, it seems. Well, I'm not going to fail. Our soldiers are at the gates. Now they must. Our soldiers are at the walls. Now they. Roman military. Our soldiers have done their work well. The battering ram has broken through the gate! Our soldiers have captured the walls! Now is the time to press on and capture this place! I'll just go and attack those horse, uh, those horse archers. And then I'll have my missile troops, my, uh, my skirmisher type units to get rid of the militia hoplites. Is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Shit. 
Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so my plan is to lure them out of the town square with the archers. Shoot them a bit whilst they're running towards my generals. Then use these guys to cut them off and hopefully get them routing. Hopefully that'll work. Let's see. They probably don't need to get that close, but that's okay. Okay. Activate, please. Oh, they're probably going to break before they... Yep, there they go. Army is in flight. I could continue, but I'm not going to. Rome demands victory from her generals. And this day... Yep, so that was not really much of a challenge at all, but I don't think that was ever going to be. Victory! Settlement captured! Okay, even though I enslaved it, still got lots of population, so... I think the best thing to do would be actually construct the governor's villa. And now for the sally out here. There's no guarantee this is going to work and it might just end up being a stupid mistake just like it was uh, at Palma. Uh, I'll try and be a little more careful this time though. But if things start turning to shit, I'll just come straight back inside. Wait, they built, they built siege, they built the battering ram, so that's not necessarily going to make any difference, they're not going to be able to get up on the walls anyway. So, from experience, in Rome Total War, when you had a, send a battering ram up, through the gates, even if it's just a small wall, it just about always burns up pretty much guaranteed. So maybe I don't have anything to worry about. Maybe it would just be a good idea to destroy them, to damage them so they don't build more. I don't know. I'll give this a shot and see what happens. And generals ages away. Now I just need to get them exhausted. Maybe shoot them up a bit by the towers too. Oh no, there they go, they're broken. That's a good start. Now for the other lot. I'll try the phalanx pikemen. So far, so good. Nope. Oh no, here, here, here they come. Good, good. Follow, follow. You fucks. Nope, they don't want to do it. They don't want to play ball. Get away from those fucking spears. Oh, that wasn't as bad as it could have been, but... Still pretty bad. Try the Fox one once more. Oh, nice, it broke them. Hmm, 
Hmm, if I manage to kill these pikemen, they might actually retreat. Oh shit! I may have just got my general killed. Because he's tired and the enemy general is likely not. I'll take to the near the towers. Oh shit. doing a very good job of catching me. See if we'll get shot a bit. That might help. Armoured, what am I thinking? Now how am I going to get inside? Oh, that was a mistake, I should have just gone inside. That way maybe the boiling oil would have got him. Oh, well he's not doing me any damage, so... Well, as long as I don't get exhausted. Once I'm exhausted, I'm totally useless. Not even taking any damage. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, I lost one. Oh, I must be very tired now. Yeah. Shit. Go, go tired, you fucker. Jeez. Hell, they're not taking any damage even from the towers. Thought maybe one or two would die, but no. Come on, get inside. God, this is stupid. Come on. Yep, taking casualties, but that's okay as long as the general gets inside. Oh, that is fucking brilliant. I am quite happy with that. Quite happy indeed. Now what I'll do is might just exit the battle there cuz that guy's dead. Our army has not prevailed today. Oh, that's a matter of opinion. I think it did fucking prevail. Thank you. Because there's no more general in that army. That was pretty well done. I think. I didn't expect that to happen. I was very lucky. That's very rare when something like that happens. Public order here is shit. Yeah, too much cultural pen cultural penalty. Need to train some more peasants up. Ship them off somewhere else. Get these guys on the boats. Come on, I can select it. Anyway, that's a. I think I might end the video there. So, not particularly eventful. Actually, no. I'll disband these guys first. Yeah. So the things are pretty slow now. Not really expanding. I've got Bosphorus. Not going to expand any further. Um, not going to take. Campus CCI. 
I will try. To, I will take Mogon Tiakum and then leave it at that, unless anyone else tells me otherwise. That uh, the Roman Empire did actually have other regions. Um, all the regions here in Britain are all mine, and I'm allowed to keep them. So, let's see what happens in that regards. So like and subscribe, part 39 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook.